Hey guys, Cole here, welcome to K-Racer. Thanks so much for all your questions and suggestions for tech videos. They've given me plenty of inspiration. I think I've got a lot now to talk about for the next few months at least. So one of the really common questions was asking about seat position and weight distribution. And this is one of those ones in karting that I don't think is immediately obvious to everyone, exactly what's going on when they change the position of the seat or why it's important. So this is a pretty long and involved topic. So I'm not gonna try and get through all of it today. I just wanna put a question in your mind. I just wanna plant a seed, and then I'm gonna let that sit there for a week and we'll come back and, uh, and recap in a week's time. So here's the question. Let's pretend for a moment that you're driving in a van on, on a long straight highway. In fact, you probably do this pretty regularly when you're getting yourself to the track. So you're sitting in a big, tall van with big, big sides that catch a lot of wind and you're driving along a straight road and you've got the steering wheel pointed directly straight ahead. And now a crosswind blows up, a strong wind pushing on the side of the van. Now what happens to you? You start to drift off the road, right? And you actually have to steer into the wind a little bit in order to keep the van on the road. So the question I want you to try and answer is, what's happening between the asphalt, the rubber, and the wheel that's allowing a van with the wheels pointed dead straight ahead to drift off the road until I steer back into the wind? Have a think about it, maybe have a discussion in the comments. I'll be back in a week's time to answer that question and maybe ask a few more. Catch you soon.